So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to go from this raw video file and color grade it into a video that looks something like this. This video that I showed you right now is shot on the new GoPro Hero 11 with the following settings. And we are going to be using a software called DaVinci Resolve to color grade the video. Once you open up DaVinci Resolve, you can import your video footage into the media pool and you're going to drag the video that you want to color grade into the timeline like this. And once you have the video imported into the timeline, we're going to click on the color tab, which is found on the bottom right here. And you should get a screen like this. And this is where we're going to be doing the color grading. We are going to go to the color wheels tab. So your page should look like this. And you want to get the parade up on the right hand side. <clears throat> For those of you who don't have this screen, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the right hand side, click on parade. And then here we can adjust, sometimes the parade starts on zero like this. So you're going to have to click on parade, click on the button here and kind of drag this to the right so that we can see the colors. And here we can see how much blues, greens and reds are found in this raw video here. So the first thing we're going to do when we do color grading on the water videos is we're going to adjust the temperature and the tint. The GoPro videos that you record are probably going to be too green and too blue. So we're going to start by moving this to the right hand side. And you can see that this is already making a difference. Usually for underwater videos, you can go all the way up to between 90 and 100, I think. And then now I'm going to move this to the left to get some blues back. And the video still looks very washed out. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drag the lift to the left hand side and as you can probably see this already makes the video look a lot better and when you're adjusting this lift what you're planning to do is you're trying to get the bottom of these color bars hit the zero mark right here so as you can see if I lift the lift if, if I lift this really high up it looks really washed out so we're gonna drag these down until the lines are hitting just about 100 and we're going to do the same for the gains which is the top half of these bars and we're going to make sure that the gains hit just around 1000 so it looks something like this and you can see that this already looks a lot better than it how it did before here it's a little bit too green but now once we add those changes the colors have come back to normal and for this video it still looks like there's a lack of saturation so we're gonna actually bring up the saturation to the right hand side like this and now I think the video is really starting to look really nice as you can see right here to be completely honest for easy color grading I think this is good enough the video is really nicely exposed and I think the colors look really nice. If anything, I can bump up the saturation a bit more to make the scene look a bit more lively. And we can always add some sharpness by adjusting the mid-tone and details to the right hand side like this. <clears throat> add a tiny bit of contrast to about 1.15. And this video already looks so much better. And this is pretty much it for simple color grading of underwater videos of your GoPro. And here is the before and after of the raw video straight out of the GoPro and the final results. <clears throat> with the Hero 11, I definitely recommend shooting with these settings with the native color and then color grading the videos that you shoot in the video result as it gives you so much more flexibility and the videos look so much nicer once you color grade them themselves compared to shooting in the GoPro color mode or the saturated color mode. I think it was called vibrant color, but I really don't like the colors which come out of the GoPro, the vibrant color mode, especially for underwater videos. And yeah, that is going to be it for this video. So please consider liking and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.